So, there's this strange behavior that I've seen my male Pearl Garamis doing over and over again. They only do it when there's a female in the tank, and they only do it while building a bubble nest. I've filmed this behavior several times, and I've thought about it a lot, because it made me wonder why these males were spending so much time and energy doing something that seemed so pointless. So I started to look for an explanation for this strange behavior, or at least some mention of it in the scientific journals, but so far I've found nothing. But I've come up with a theory that might explain what they're doing, and if it turns out to be right, then it might be a brand new discovery in the reproductive behavior of these beautiful fish. Alright, I'm excited to share this new idea with you, so let's get right to it. The male Garami builds the bubble nest as expected, taking his time to make sure that everything is perfect. He places the bubbles amongst the leaves of the floating plants, and this collection of bubbles will provide a clean, oxygen-rich environment for the developing eggs. However, bubbles aren't the only thing that he's adding to the nest, because every now and then he'll swim around the tank picking up bits and pieces of dead vegetation, sand, and other debris which he then adds to the bubble nest. And he's fairly choosy about which bits and pieces he uses. However, none of the material that he's adding to the nest looks like it serves any purpose at all. Now I realize that Garamis are known to add bits of plants to their bubble nest in order to help hold them together and anchor the nest in place, but this is something different altogether. This tank is densely planted and there are lots of floating plants to keep everything in place, so there's no need to fortify this bubble nest. And yet, the male continues to add bits of detritus to the nest, and when you look at it closely, you can see that most, if not all, of the material floats away or falls right back to the bottom of the tank after it's been added. And it seems to me that adding a bunch of debris into the bubble nest would make it a far less sanitary place to store the developing eggs. So, this behavior doesn't really make much sense. I also thought that maybe the male Garami was blowing detritus into the nest as a way of farming microorganisms that would grow in the nest and then serve as an early food source for the young, but that seemed very unlikely, so I gave up on that idea. He's certainly not adding sand to help strengthen the nest, and all of this extra work gathering up these materials takes a lot of time and energy, so it must have a purpose. Maybe he's adding organic material to the nest as a way to cover up its scent or hide it so that it would be less obvious to tiny predators. Unlikely? but still possible. And then it occurred to me that the answer was right in front of me all along. The male is gathering up sand and spitting it into the nest in order to impress the female, and she's been watching from the sidelines this whole time. His bright orange coloration, his fancy fin extensions, and his manly dance routine all show her that he's fit as a fiddle and ready to spawn. But, just as important as these things are, he also needs to show her that he's capable of being a good father. And by repeatedly picking up debris from the substrate and then placing it into the bubble nest, he demonstrates to the female that he has the skills and the stamina needed to chase down runaway fry, pick them up, and then bring them back to the bubble nest. And this is important to the female because she will have no part in the rearing of her young. So her contribution to the well-being of her babies, other than providing the eggs, is in her ability to choose a competent father for her children. So she must choose wisely because her children's lives will depend completely on the male's ability to properly care for them and she wouldn't want her eggs going to waste with an incompetent male.
So, in order to win her approval, the male mimics the behaviors that he will need to perform in order to care for the young fry after they're born while the female watches and makes her decision. Now all of this is just a theory on my part, but it makes perfect sense and I can't think of any other good reason why the male would spend so much time and energy collecting sand and other debris just so that he could spit it into the bubble nest. Over and over he alternates between adding bubbles to the nest or adding sand and other debris. And I had considered that maybe the tiny bits of debris help keep the bubbles intact, but that wouldn't explain all of the sand. I've seen this behavior in both of my male pearl gouramis, but I haven't investigated whether or not this occurs in other species of gouramis as well. Nonetheless, the male and female continue their courtship for several days, and I can always tell when my pearl gouramis are about to spawn by the accumulation of sand and other debris that collects beneath the nest. This Anubius plant, for instance, sits directly below the bubble nest, and as you can see, it has a collection of sand and other debris that has rained down from the nest above and the male gourami has spit out so much sand into the nest that it's formed a small pile on the substrate. So, now that you've seen the footage of this strange behavior and I've offered what I think is the only logical reason for it, I'm interested to know what you think. Am I right, and is this male gourami spitting sand and other debris into the nest in order to demonstrate to the female that he can properly care for her young? Is this a new discovery in the reproductive behavior of the pearl gourami? And if so, does this behavior also occur in other species of gouramis as well? My intuition tells me that it probably does, because they all have a male-dominated parental system where the female's role is limited to egg production and spawning. So the female's choice of a mate becomes her only means by which she can have some control over the well-being of her young. And even though the male is more brightly colored and appears to be the more dominant of the two sexes, behind the scenes, it's the female Garami who's running the show because she gets to decide who passes their genes on to the next generation and who doesn't. And this is to our benefit because it forces the male gourami to work much harder for the female's approval by becoming more colorful, growing elaborate fins, and then developing dramatic displays to get her attention. These beautiful courtship displays are always fascinating to watch as the male Garami continues to do what the males in his family have been doing for countless generations before him. And we're so fortunate in this hobby that we're able to set up a natural aquarium environment for our fish where we can witness these behaviors firsthand. And after seeing my male Garami repeatedly spitting sand and other debris into the bubble nest, I'm quite convinced that he's mimicking the same behavior that he'd be using to care for the young fry in order to convince the female to spawn with him instead of one of his competitors. And he works very hard to show her that he's the best choice for the job. But apparently, there's a lot of fish in the sea, and she's not convinced that he's the right one for her. And so the dance continues. He'll make more bubbles and spit more sand while he waits until she's ready.